Hi there. In this video, I would like to teach you how to compute the beta of a portfolio using Excel. In a previous video, we've already discussed how to compute the beta of a single stock. Now we are going to go one step further and focus on the beta of a portfolio. And for the purpose of this um, tutorial, we will focus on a portfolio with three stocks, Tesla, Amazon, and Netflix. You can find the link to this uh, Excel template in the video description, as well as a link to the video tutorial where we discuss the beat of a single stock. Okay, let's get started. So what I have here is monthly data on three stocks and a market benchmark. I'm going to use S&P 500 in this case. I've downloaded all this data from Yahoo Finance, and I've got five years of monthly returns. So 60 observations in total. Okay, let's get started. So what I have here is monthly data on three stocks and a market benchmark. I'm going to use S&P 500 in this case. I've downloaded all this data from Yahoo Finance, and I've got five years of monthly returns. So 60 observations in total. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a portfolio column here. And let's say we will create a, an equally weighted portfolio. So investment weights are one third for each stock. This is not important. You can use any different weights that you like. Okay. So I would like to begin with computing the monthly returns on this portfolio. So I'm going to use the sum product function because for each month, the return on the portfolio is simply a weighted average of the individual returns in that portfolio. Okay, And I need to fix these weights because as I expand downwards, I don't want these weights to move. There they are. So these are the monthly returns on the portfolio. Now I can begin calculating the beta of each stock and finally the beta of the portfolio as well. In the video that I've mentioned, I've shown you different ways to compute the beta of a stock. So I'm gonna do the quickest way here. I'm gonna use the slope function where I will be regressing the stock returns on market returns. So the slope of the regression line is our estimate the beta. Again, I'm fixing the market returns over here because I'm going to extend this rightwards. Right, so we've got the beta of each stock here. So as you can see, the beta of Tesla is pretty high. It's uh, um, slightly about two. And both Amazon and Netflix have betas larger than one as well. So for Amazon, it's 1.2. And for Netflix, it's nearly 1.3. Now, if I extend this one more cell to the right, I should get the beta estimate for my portfolio, which is 1.517. And I could easily verify this in another way as well, using the portfolio beta formula. So portfolio beta formula says that a portfolio's beta is simply a weighted average of the individual betas. So if I've done everything correctly, I should get the same figure. Here we are. So the portfolio of this, so the beta of this portfolio is 1.5. And because of course it's a weighted average, it should be less than two because this is the highest beta in the portfolio and it should be more than 1.2. So it should be somewhere in between. So this is 1.5, which means that for this portfolio, if the market goes up by 1%, the returns are expected to go up by 1.5%. But if the market goes down by 1%, the returns are meant to go or expected to go down by 1.5%. The last thing I would like to do in this video is just to show you uh, this portfolio beta on a graph, right? So I'm going to insert a scatter um, graph, okay? So I would like to plot the portfolio returns against market returns and put the trend line 
And you will see that in the equation of the trend line, if I, if I do everything correctly, I should see exactly the same slope estimate. Okay, so let's quickly do that as well. So let's go to the chart design tab. Let's select data. I'm gonna add one series. X values are my market returns. Okay. And Y values are gonna be the portfolio returns, All right? Here we are, and just select, okay, here. Don't really want a chart title, so let's get rid of that. And we can just quickly add some X, uh, access titles. So these are market returns or S&P 500 returns on the x-axis and portfolio returns, portfolio returns on the y-axis. Okay, let's add our trend line, a linear one, here we are. And now is the moment of truth, let's add the equation on the chart. So if I can move that over here. Just one sec, here we are. So it says y equals 1.517x, it should be a familiar figure, which is the slope of this line and is our beta x uh, estimate times x plus 0 0.01, so which is the intercept of this line. So the portfolio beta is simply, the, the geometric interpretation is simply that it is the slope of this line, right? Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you have found it useful. Uh, if, you have, uh, if you like the video, please uh, give it a like. And um, looking forward to see you in another video. Thanks for watching.